I taught an AI program to write better workouts than most trainers, and I did it in under an hour. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, and you might be wondering why I'm even interested in having a workout program developed by artificial intelligence in the first place. Well, let me explain. See, as both an athlete and professional coach throughout my career, I have paid numerous coaches to help develop workout programs for myself, and I've charged hundreds of clients to develop programs for them as well. And most people may not know this, but a program that is customized specifically to you, if it's designed by a really knowledgeable coach, will generally deliver much better results. And this is because we all have different backgrounds, different strengths and weaknesses, we use energy systems differently, and we have all kinds of different percentages of muscle fibers that respond uniquely, not to mention the significant differences between men and women, trained and untrained, and much more. There is a huge, huge rabbit hole that you can really go down if you want to, but all you really need to know is that a very knowledgeable coach can develop custom programs that deliver better results than more generic ones. This is why, though I love programs like Peloton and others for the way they inspire and motivate me, I rarely actually do what the instructors tell me to because the programs are very generic and not custom to me. But there's a few problems to having a custom workout program developed. For one, the amount of coaches that have the education and the experience to make an excellent custom program are far and few between. Of the hundreds of coaches that I know and I'm friends with, there's only about a dozen or so that I would actually trust to write a full workout program for me. And that's out of actual coaches that I know. I'm not counting the majority of you know internet coaches out there that don't really have any education or experience, but just sort of use their bodies to sell programs that are, for the most part, completely generic outside of some adjustments they may make for your equipment or schedule. Now, the other, perhaps even bigger problem is because extremely knowledgeable coaches are so rare and writing fully custom workouts can be so time consuming that it can be extremely expensive. And I know of almost no legitimate coach that charge less than $300 per month with many charging a lot more than that. That's my interest in the possibilities of having an AI write a workout program because you could take all of that knowledge that some of the world's best coaches have around workout design and teach it to an artificial intelligence that is not only capable of writing these custom workouts for each person, but could also be able to adjust them based on the results and feedback given. The implications here are pretty significant for being able to find get a fully customized workout program at an extremely affordable cost. So just last week, a new AI program called Chat GPT was released and a free research preview was opened up to be tested by anyone. And if you haven't heard of this yet, you definitely will soon because it's so unbelievably good, it will just blow your mind. It's basically Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves. If Ask Jeeves had much more extensive knowledge about everything and could continually learn and apply that information in whichever way that you'd like. Want to know how to clip in and out of a Peloton in the voice of a 1920s gangster? It's got you covered. If you ain't out of town by tomorrow morning, you won't never leave it except in a pine box. Now, I wanted to test how good this AI could be at writing workout programs. So first I tried having it create some basic conditioning workouts for me. And at first it seemed fairly incapable, much worse in fact than you could probably find yourself online. I then tried it with some strength workouts and similarly, I was not very impressed. And that's when it occurred to me that the methods of somehow of the best coaches write workout programs and the methodology that they use and apply as well as their thought process, that's not something that's really super available on the internet. And certainly when it's available, it's in much smaller amounts than the more generic information that you'll typically see on various websites. So of course, ChatGPT wasn't going to be able to give me a great workout program, at least not until I was able to teach it how. First, I laid out a few ground rules about movement ordering, reps, rest, and some general ideas about how to adjust those things for various types of people. And the results were much better, but I wanted to teach it how to format the workouts in the style that I write my own, and I very easily and quickly taught it how. Then I explained a little bit about how supersetting sets were and how to structure that, and the AI did okay, but I asked it to make some more adjustments. In this case, the AI had supersetted two barbell movements, and since most people don't have two barbells readily available, I didn't want it to do that, so I asked it 
it to change it and it learned and adjusted. Then when I tried to have it do another workout, it did a bit better, but it still forgot some of the formatting that I had taught it. So I told it not to forget and it fixed it right up. Then I started teaching the AI about variations of different movements and small details like that small muscle groups like upper body exercises need more variation than larger muscle groups like your lower body exercises. And then I asked the AI to write a four day program. It was looking pretty decent now though, it still had trouble remembering to format. So again, I said, please don't forget everything that I taught you. And it understood exactly what I meant. It apologized and fixed its mistakes. Then I started teaching ChatGPT about how to create progressions and I asked it to write a four week progression around the workout from day one. And you know what? The four week progression for this workout is not half bad. And honestly, it's better than most of the stuff I see written by a lot of these, you know, quote, internet coaches that you see on Instagram or whatever. And this was all just within around 30 minutes of teaching some basic concepts to the AI. Now imagine if you had some of the world's best coaches teaching this AI how how to design workouts for various people and various situations for a week, a month, a year. And now imagine that when the program was delivered and somebody did the workout and posted their results, the AI was able to learn over time what worked or didn't work for that particular person, what type of volume worked best for them, or what types of movements or volume led to tweaks. And then imagine if that AI learned not only how to customize workouts for that individual person, but could also analyze their sleep and HRV and other metrics to make further adjustments and to learn over time how those metrics contribute to that individual person's recovery and result. Because maybe somebody named Jane can miss a bunch of sleep and work out and be just fine. Whereas for me, I may need to adjust my workout with less weight and volume in order to get the best results. The implications are fascinating, but what's crazy to me is the fact that this this tech, this tech's already available and is certainly capable of everything that I said. And I haven't even gotten into some of the new emerging tech around computer vision taking place to analyze your movements, which are smart like this and that they can create custom ways to teach you movements based on what you actually know and what helps you best understand how to move your body correctly. Now, at the same time, this all is a little concerning if I'm to be honest. While the power of this artificial intelligence is great from a user standpoint, I am a bit worried about many of the coaches out there that will not be able to keep up. And while some very knowledgeable coaches will be able to use AI like this to provide better service for even more people than ever before, those who aren't the best or who may be still learning may be in a bit of trouble. So I want to continue this discussion in the comments below and I want to hear what your thoughts are on all of this. Do you think AI will replace coaches in terms of at least writing workout programs or do you think coaches will always be a bit better? Do you think it's a good thing that AI will be able to provide a better service to more people or is it too troubling for trainers whose skill set has now been commoditized by a computer? Let me know what you think in comments. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. Appreciate you being here and see you next time.